Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We are outside right now, so you'll probably get a little background noises. Uh, maybe hear the beeping from the door as well. But we are hooked up to a 2007 Freightliner with a 2004 emissions level Mercedes-Benz 4000 engine. So let's just kind of show you what you can do on this particular vehicle. So right off the bat, you can see we have 32 different parameters that are up here being shown. So we're not moving right now and the vehicle's not running, so a lot of these will be zeros and you can just kind of get an indication of what's going on with a lot of these sensors and position switches. If I go over to dashboard, this is where it'll give you a graphical representation of some different systems on your vehicle. It's just reading off the parameters page. So you can see like right there, it's reading the fuel temperature. There's no PSI or fuel rate because the engine's not running. So we have a dashboard that shows us that information for the fuel system. And here's another one that's gonna show us, it looks like some of the uh, inlet and outlet exhaust system as well. Over on the fault screen, this is where you'll see all your active and inactive fault codes. The red one that says ATT at the end is an active fault code. So if you double click it, you'll actually get the code number. And we have all the service manuals and repair information on the laptop as well. The ones that have the little symbol with the question mark with the bubble around it, you can actually click on that and it'll actually give you some built-in repair information for that code. So not all the codes have that in this Texas system. If they don't, no big deal. We have all the service manuals and the repair information in DTC Solutions. The ECU Info tab, this is where it'll give you your VIN number, engine model, certification number, just software levels, calibration levels, etc. All the good stuff is over here in activations and in settings. So these are the different tests you can run. So there's your cylinder cutout tests, uh, delete errors will be clearing your codes, some proportion valve tests that you can run as well, along with looks like some lamp commands you can run too. So depending on what engine you're connected to, you'll get different tests. Over in settings, these are all the different parameters that you can change on the engine. So think of uh, maximum road speed, cruise speed, PTO settings, idle shutdown timers, engine brake, all that kind of stuff is in here. So as I scroll down through the list, you kind of get an idea of just all the different parameters that are able to be changed on this particular vehicle. All right, so that was the real quick down and dirty on a 2007 Freightliner with a 2004 emissions level. Thank you for watching.